What's up guys? My name is Amra from the Ramblin' Richardsons. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, hello friend. So, there have been some changes to the reptile room and I've been holding off on making this video mainly because we've been so busy with the baby. But I do have some time today so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys what's been going on. Before we get to the video though, do me a huge favor, go down there, like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't ever miss any of the videos that we post. All right, let's check out what we've done here to the reptile room, just a couple of things. Okay, first of all, we have redone Sheila's enclosure. So I took all of the fake plants out of Johnny's enclosure. Went ahead and put them in here for Sheila, who's currently taking a huge nap. Um, just so she could have a couple of things new, some enrichment, some stuff to like try to climb up on. So there are the new plants, just cheap plate. Uh, cheap fake plastic plants for her snoozing big time back there. That was probably the easiest change that we've made in the reptile room. Oh, look who decided he wanted to say hi. That's Mr. Johnny. Johnny is doing really well. He's a little ham. Yeah, you're gonna go up to the top, buddy. I wanna show them your new enclosure. What do you think? <clears throat> what do you think about it, John? Huh? What a handsome guy. He gone. <laughs> so Johnny's enclosure is new. I went ahead and took this, you can see this rope vine thing here, redid that. We also planted some monstera and then another philodendron of some sort. I don't remember what kind it is. Went ahead and planted his tank out. I added some more substrate with a little bit of gravel, and we added isopods to his enclosure. Now uh, they're giant canyon isopods, so I don't think he's going to be able to catch them and eat them, but uh, we have a fully bioactive enclosure now for him, which he's been loving. He's been on top of these leaves. Are you going to let me open the cage? Are you going to let me open it? There we go. Check out that beautiful reptile. He's so pretty. So he's been on top of these leaves, basking, hanging out, lots of hiding places down in there for him to just chill. I really feel like he's liked it. I'm gonna close it now. Okay. Next up here, we have the fish tank, which is a little bit low on water. Let me change the light here. But we got some horns, Hornswort in here, trying to grow it out a little bit. So, our little shrimp friends have been hard at work cleaning up all of the leaves that were dying off of it. It was in the axolotl tank for a while, but it was clogging up the filter, so went ahead and took it out and put it in here into the fish tank see if it would thrive because I've got a, a light up here 
license lights up here that can provide some light for the sun. Um, and it's right next to a window. Got this big window right here. So light creeps in between here and will help with that. But also, let's see if I can get one of these guys on camera. We have baby snails. My nearite snail had babies. There's one of them. And then there's one right up here, right there. So we got a couple of babies, baby snails in here, which is awesome. I'm not going to turn that down. Next up here is the axolotl tanks. This is beans, hey, this is beans enclosure. And uh, if you can see here, I've painted the back of his enclosure black to keep sunlight out. I have a, <laughs> it's a pothos cutting I'm trying to bring back to life. Let's see if it'll do well aquaponically. But yeah, Bean's enclosure is now completely painted black. Let's see if I can get the light a little bit better. There we go. That's a little better. So there's Bean's enclosure. And then down here is Frankie's enclosure. Painted okay, the back of his enclosure green again to help with the light. And both of these tanks are currently cycling. The axolotls actually right down here there's beans I know their gills are looking much better I've got an ice bottle uh, in there for him cool a lot and there's Frankie he's hiding out underneath his bottle too so their gills are looking much much better um, doing daily water changes with these guys and these are just two Sterilite tubs that we got at like Walmart so these two Sterilite tubs are, are like two dollars or something like that with lids but once we get them able to go back into their enclosures over here I did get something else for them let me show you so couple of things left to do in the axolotl tanks. I got these at my local fish store. But the axolotls super duper like the bubbles. Like literally Beans spent most of his time on top of his sponge filter um, hanging out where the bubbles were. He really really liked them. And Johnny likes or Johnny. Um, Frank and Beans they both like the bubbles a lot. So I got them some bubble wands to go into their tanks um, so that they can enjoy bubbles. Um, thinking about just putting it on the bottom next to where the filter is and the air tube will come down in through here and then bubbles will just come out through here so that they can enjoy bubbles. Just another enrichment thing for them. I haven't given this yet to Johnny, but I was thinking about putting this in his enclosure right back there. You can see, you, you may not be able to see, but he's on the glass. But I was thinking about giving him a pork tube to just hang out in. It's, uh, it's hollow, so he can climb through it. You can see the light on the other end there. Um, but yeah, just something to enrich him and his enclosure as well. I wanted him to get used to all that other stuff. He does have a big piece of cork, like a, like a cork flat that's on one side of his enclosure and it kind of sits up against the glass that he can go behind. Uh, I kind of want to use that for the osteopods. So I was thinking about taking that out 
and putting this in instead, which will take some finagling because day geckos like Johnny are super, super, super fast. Those guys are ridiculously, uh, they're ridiculously fast, ridiculously quick. And if you're not paying attention, they can get out of their enclosures and good luck. There he is. Right there. He's a quick little guy. That's an update with uh, what's happening here in the reptile room. That it took a lot of it took a lot of planning. It took weeks for me to get all of this done. I went and if you watched the video I did with my mom, I'm pretty sure up here, maybe up, maybe up here. We went and got a bunch of the plants. Um, some of those were the ones that we put here in Johnny. There he is again. Put in Johnny's enclosure. We got the hornswort um, for the aquaponics. And we got some stuff to put in the terrariums that uh, I built out. I also have a video for those on, you know, which I did. It'll come up here at the top. Uh, click on that little card. Um, so go and see those if you want to know what other plants we got on the trip I took to the water garden with my mom. It was super cool. Definitely want to go back. Um, <laughs> not the best plant parent, but we're trying. Yeah. Anyways, um, Duke is still doing good. Actually, we are just having a little moment earlier. Maybe he wants to come out and say hi. Uh, we do need to feed the axolotls though, so I'm gonna go get some worms. All right, so got some Canadian night crawlers here. We're gonna feed the axolotls. This will be interesting. Okay, first up is beans. Oh, missed. There you go. Good job, buddy. And then the extra piece, just throw in there for him to hunt later. This is Frank. Let's see if we can get Frank to eat. Hey, Frank. Oh, yeah, he's hungry. There you go. There you go. Well, there you have it. <laughs> we need to go and get more worms for those guys and crickets for Sheila and for Duke. But uh, that's it, guys. That's the update on our reptile room. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. for a haircut.